if you've paid any attention over the last couple of years, you've been noticing interest rates have been going up, stocks have been dropping like a rock, and interest in inflation has been quite the crazy ride. Now, a great way to benefit from interest rate increases are buying treasury bills. So we're gonna be talking about what treasury bills are, how they work, and how you can buy them. Now, before we get into this, you might be asking, why would I even want a treasury bill? For starters, the return on investment is virtually guaranteed as it's backed by the US government. Also, compared to other ways to hold cash, with a T-bill, you can earn upwards of 4.5% annualized versus large institutional banks where you can earn maybe 0.15, 0.5%. So it's pretty clear to me. All right, let's get into the details. First off, what treasury bills are. A treasury bill is a short-term debt obligation backed by the US Treasury Department with a maturity of one year or less. In other words, a T-bill is very similar to a bond where investors are investing in debt and lending money to an institution. Now this is considered a low risk secure investment as it is backed by the US government. The US government issues these T-bills as a way to fund public projects such as the construction of schools and construction of highways. Next up is how treasury bills work. So first off, the US government issues these T-bills and when an investor purchases a T-bill, the US government is effectively writing an IOU to the investor. Now a couple things to know. Longer maturity dates generally coincide with higher returns. Another interesting thing about T-bills is they actually don't pay a coupon rate or interest payment, as opposed to most bonds where an interest payment will be received throughout the life of the bond. T-bills will just pay you once and you're good to go. So basically you will buy a T-bill, after the maturity date has passed, you receive the interest earned and the principal, as opposed to in separate installments. Another thing about T-bills, as we talked about, they are less than a year from maturity, and the most common time periods are four weeks, eight weeks, 13 weeks, 26 weeks, and then 52 weeks. Now we're gonna get into how to buy treasury bills. There's two different ways to buy treasury bills. You can either buy straight through the government, through their website, treasurydirect.gov, or you can go through the secondary market and buy through a broker, whether through a bank or a licensed broker. All right, next up, we're gonna go through an example of how to set up treasurydirect.gov and how to actually buy a T-bill. To set up an account with Treasury Direct, first we need to go to treasurydirect.gov and then you can either go to open a new account down here or log in up here and then follow the prompt to open a new account. So first it gives you a preview of the three steps that you have to take to set up your account. You'll go down to apply now and then you'll follow all these steps. You choose the type of account Likely, if this is just for you, it'll just be an individual account as opposed to an organization or corporation account. Step two will be to add your social security number, email address, bank account, and routing number. Then step three will be set up a password, password reminder, personalized image to remind you that, hey, this is a government website and you're in the right place. Also, a personalized caption and security questions. Then you'll just go down here and hit apply now. Once you're in treasurydirect.gov and you've logged in, you'll see up at the top, you've got my account and buy direct. Buy direct is where you go to buy directly from the government. So to buy our T bills, we go to buy direct and then select bills. Now up here, you can see it says marketable securities. These are the different kind of government securities that you can buy from treasury direct. Um, so we're just gonna go to bills, which is short-term securities of one year or less. Go down and hit submit. You can select what length of maturity you want to choose. You've got four weeks up to 52 weeks, like we talked about earlier. Now, each one of these, it corresponds with maturity date or maturity duration, auction date, and issue date. So today's the 21st, and we see that the soonest auction date we can choose is for the 26th. If we choose the soonest possible date, it'll go through on the 26th and then the security will be issued on the 31st. So on the 31st, the money will come out of our bank account and we'll go into Treasury Direct where we will be holding our T-bills. So we'll go ahead and select that, scroll down. Now down here, we can select our purchase amount and the source of funds, which will be a bank account that you link uh, before you go to buy. And then you will also go past the scheduled reinvestment section where you can select to have it reinvested by clicking yes. And we can see that we can have bills scheduled up to two years for reinvestments. Or you can just go with no. Personally, I like to go with no and just do it manually. And then we'll go down here and select where we want our mature security to go. So principal and interest, and that'll be another bank account. 
Again, could be the same one as you have up here for source of funds. That's how I have it set up. Then you'll hit submit and review your purchase. And then you've got some T-bills that'll be sitting in your treasurydirect.gov account soon. All right, that was treasury bills. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and hit that like button if you got value. Also, let me know what kinds of videos you would like covered in the future and I'll see you in the next one.